I welcome you to a very brief discussion on Zhou Thompson effect. Look at these two gentlemen. This is Mr. William Thompson and Mr. Zhou. These two gentlemen independently worked in their simple laboratory back at their homes and discovered an interesting thing. What is that thing is called Zhou Thompson effect. And whenever there is a in a diabetic expansion, you know what is a diabetic expansion? Diabetic is a patient who has a free flow of sugar in urine. Diabetic means free flow. In a, if a process is carried out so that the external heat energy is not coming in and internal heat is not going out, then this is an insulated container what all that happens in an insulated container where the heat energy is not coming and going out is called a diabetic process the system is called isolated system and this adiabetic process can happen reversibly and irreversibly. Anyway, in such a process where the enthalpy is not changing for the system and a gas is expanding from area of high pressure to a free space or low pressure, Joel Thompson have discovered that the gases experience cooling effect. It means in a, a diabetic irreversible expansion, cooling effect observed due to variation in pressure is called Saul Thompson effect. When this is happening, the enthalpy change of the system remains zero. Enthalpy change means change in total heat content. But still the system experiences cooling. This is a explained as a Joule Thompson coefficient which is mathematically expressed as dou T by dou P at constant enthalpy. For an ideal gas mu J T is equal to zero. There is no Joule Thompson effect. I, ideal gas will never undergo Joule Thompson cooling. Notice in a reversible a diabetic expansion which is called isoentropic process an ideal gas can also have cooling effect this is a discussion in thermodynamics which we don't make much but at the moment i would simply say that the thompson effect is an effect where uh, real gases undergo cooling effect when they expand a diabetically however for this to happen there is certain temperature Above that temperature, you can't observe any cooling effect. Only below that temperature, you can observe cooling effect. If the gas is kept above that temperature, then the gases undergo heating effect. So the temperature where there is neither cooling nor heating, when a gas is undergoing a diabetic expansion, is called inversion temperature. Below the inversion temperature, all real gases have great cooling effects in a diabetic expansion. This is what operated in your air conditioners and in refrigerators. Right? This is an idea about inversion temperature. Thank you very much.